In this video, we'll look at installing Hyper-V on a Windows 10 professional client machine. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm on a Dell XPS machine. I've got 16 gigs of RAM and solid state. So my installs are going to be very quick. What I'm going to do is come down here, right click, go to the control panel. I'm going to go to Programs, Programs and Features, and I'm going to install the Hyper-V feature. So let's turn on Windows Features. I'll open that up. I'll check the box for Hyper-V. That's going to install everything that I need for Hyper-V. If for some reason your Hyper-V installation doesn't install, make sure you go back and check your BIOS and make sure virtualization is turned in, on in your BIOS. Most machines now come with it turned on, but make sure you check. So I'll say OK. At this point, it's going to go ahead and search for the required files and get ready for a reboot. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause, I'll reboot the system, and show you the rest of the install. Take care. All right, so I have rebooted the machine. And at this point, I'm just going to come down here in the search bar, and I'm going to type Hyper-V. And as you can see, the Hyper-V manager has been installed. So I'll go ahead and click on that. You can see that here's the machine I installed it on and I have no virtual machines. So the Hyper-V Manager is clearly installed. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll configure, we'll come into Virtual Switch Manager right here, and we'll configure some virtual switches. We'll do a little learning about that, and then configure both an external as well as a private switch. Until next time, take care.